Hello everyone, it's Diane, and I thought I would just do a little bit of a fun video today showing um, Etsy hauls from the last several months. So, I have a list here so I don't forget anything. I'll start with Fabric Thread Needle, and I know I've shown these before, but this was purchased within this time period, um, April, May, and June. So this is a bundle of Fitec fabrics that I got from Jennifer at Fabric Thread Needle. And I'm really enjoying them. If you've been watching my videos, you'll see, you will have seen that I've been using these. Um, and she does work with you. You can, this was a custom order actually. Um, she had conversations with me to determine exactly what I would want and then put this package together for me. And um, we've been working together ever since. And you've you've been real good about um, giving her your business and she has another um, kit she's working on that's in the works and I'll be announcing that before too long I think so anyway I just wanted to share that with you again from Fabric Thread Needle I will link all of these shops below um, the next thing I can't show show you because I got it from the paper basket let me show you my list here the paper basket and it is vintage pink typewriter paper and it's beautiful but I don't know where I stashed it and I haven't even used it yet so hopefully I'll come across it pretty soon because I'm pretty bummed that I can't find it do you ever do that you buy stuff and then you put it away and then you don't know where you put it so hopefully I'll come across it next from Amour Fabriques I got a Bohemian bundle of fabrics, which are very, very fun. I haven't done anything with them yet, but this one has fringe. This one has bright colors and pom-poms. Some of them are beaded. These are just exotic fabrics. This one has little rhinestones on it and I believe that this goes with it. It was probably the under fabric for it. This one is embroidered. This one is kind of a velvety with appliques and embroidery. This one has some beads along the bottom. This one is very different. It's kind of metallic. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's really pretty. I like the elephant. This was obviously a garment that was cut apart because there's a seam here. Oh, this wasn't part of this bundle. I think I got this with some trims that I got at a yard sale, and it goes well with these, so I stuck it in here. This is like a double knit, but the fabric, the print on the fabric goes well. It's a paisley design. Black and silver sequins. Just a nice thick red satin. I did use a couple pieces of this in, in a Renaissance journal. Some of these pieces went well with that theme, so I did use a couple. So, and I have another, I think another pack like this that I just ordered, plus I ordered um, some of the, I forgot what they're called, but the quilted fabric that she cut to be um, book covers, journal covers. So I ordered the most recent set of those that she posted that have three covers, no, four covers. Yeah, I think I got the four cover set. Okay, and then from Prairie Rose Laces, which I only wrote on this list so I wouldn't forget to tell you, she was closing her shop, and so she had her sari silks at a good price. And so I went on and, and bought a bunch of sari silks. And before I made this video, I went and checked, and her shop is closed now. But I did want to show you that I got all these sari silks from her. Vintage Paper Emporium is my friend Leslie, and from her, it's early, but <laughs> I ordered a mini Christmas embellishment 
kit. Because I knew I'd be doing some Christmas journals. I think she threw in these extra goodies for me. I don't, I think, I don't know if she does that for everybody. She probably does some for everybody. But she and I have been friends for quite a long time now via YouTube and stuff like that. So I've never met her, but we're friends. So she sent me these extra things. But this is the Christmas, the mini Christmas embellishment kit. It's got this little tiny clothespin with a little felt Christmas tree on it. And then inside, she's, she has a lot of vintage things in her shop. There's a little gold star on there. She has laces, and I think she has a lot of playing cards. I got laces from her before. Here's a little reindeer tag with some lace. And she has gifted me with beautiful, beautiful vintage laces before. So there's just a lot of, this is a little, like a little flash card with the word holly. Just a lot of embellishments for a Christmas journal. This gold tinsel, red, green, and white rickrack. It's so cute. A little snowflake button, some red and green buttons, and jewels. Some tabs. A little ticket. And a... Uh, candy cane and a Christmas bulb another button and a Santa Claus so these will be fun to use in a Christmas journal it'll be coming up before we know it I know I know we've barely gotten into summer did I skip anything I guess not. Then we have Charatino. And she sells, she or he, I'm not sure. They sell gorgeous, gorgeous napkins. I think it was Gail who had bought napkins from, from that shop. And so I went there. Was it you, Gail? Anyway, I picked out three. And they come in sets of four. So I got this one. It's beautiful, Paisley. I love the colors. And this one with pretty flowers. I just love it. I don't know why. There's a butterfly and a dragonfly. And then this was this is what I really wanted, a mermaid journal or um, napkin because I'll be making some mermaid journals pretty soon. I think I have about everything I need except the cover. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to do for the cover. And the last one is the brown pear last one for Etsy the brown pear and what I wanted when I saw these in her shop and I like owls and I want to make an owl themed journal too and this is a set of 11 pages out of a bird book and they're just pages of pictures of owls so I wanted to get them and I figured while I was ordering from her I might as well get a few more things <laughs> So I got a set of five layaway receipts. I already used one in one of those uh, domestic arts journals. And by the way, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was unsure of those journals. I knew that I liked them, and I but I was unsure if you guys would because they're quite different from what I normally do, and they're a lot junkier, I guess, because they just have a lot of stuff thrown in. But they're all sold already and I just appreciate it so so much and I even have a couple people who want me to save save one for them the next time I make them so that really really encourages me and that's a really good thing because I have a lot of those book covers to use <laughs> so I can make lots more of those journals so thank you I also got this set of cards they're towns in Oklahoma I don't know what the cards were for but there's a set of 25, and I just like the look of them. Somebody wrote on the back, it might be the the county that they're in, because two of them are in Lawton. One was in Musk. So I thought that was pretty neat. So if anybody lives in Oklahoma, go to the Brown Pear and check out these really cool Oklahoma cards that she has. 
She also has a lot of playing cards, and you can get them in twos or fives. Um, I got this set of two because just because I just thought they were super cute. I think she calls them mod girls. Aren't they cute? And then I got this set, which was marked pink and blue cards. But I don't know if that one was part of it, because she's not pink or blue. But um, I got 12 cards, and they're just so adorable. I love that one. And I love this one. And I love that one. This one will go in a Christmas book. I'll put that with my Christmas ephemera. That one is so pretty, and that one. Maybe this did come with it because it goes with her. So I just love those cards. Thank you, Sue. They're wonderful. And then the last thing I got from her was a set of... <coughs> Pardon me. Twelve. <coughs> oh, goodness. Twelve orange juice bottle caps. No, ten. Ten orange juice bottle caps. You can select the number that you want, and I selected ten. So that's that's what I got from Etsy in the last few months. Uh, or not, yeah, Etsy. And then from eBay, I got this back in April, I think. The Betty Crocker Recipe Card Library. And I've already been using them. I use some in the Domestic Arts Journals, and I've been using them. Um, there's some blank cards in there that are still wrapped in plastic, so I can do stuff with them. But they're really cool cards with pictures on the front and the recipes on the back. And so these will definitely get used in um, cookbook journals, and I have a lot of vintage cookbook covers to use, so I'll definitely put them to good use. Oh, I forgot to show these. These were with the Sari Silks from Gypsy Rose Laces, and they're Raven napkins. I already have a um, custom order in for a Halloween book. So I'll be making three or four Halloween books probably. So I got some of those napkins. And then I wanted to show you what I got from Amazon. I kind of... Kind of... Went crazy a little bit. Just a little bit. This is what I got. I had to order some supplies for my shop. And I think it was... Iffy, Izzy B, Izzy B on YouTube that was showing some of these Tim Holtz um, blueprint stamps, which I had seen in stores, I think on wooden blocks, I had seen some, and I have one that's a ticket, but the ones that I saw were ones that I probably wouldn't use, but the ones she was showing were things I hadn't seen, so I looked them up on Amazon, and there are a lot so you could get these in this size. These are pretty big. It's upside down because I used I used one of these. Let me show you what I did with it. I showed this ticket or this tag in my other video, but I hadn't painted it yet. And that's what Izzy B did. She painted them, <clears throat> and I really liked the way they looked. So anyway, you can they come in this size, and then they also come miniature. So I got this set. I put a lot in my cart and then I took a lot out. This one has a phone and a clock and a fan and a typewriter. All vintage looking. And then I got this set of miniatures, which there are they are available in the big size, I think. So this is a set of fall leaves and an acorn. Some Halloween ones with a bat, a spider web, a skull, and, a, and some tombstones. And then Christmas ones with a snowflake, a snowman, a little soldier, and a tree. So obviously you know where these will be used. I just thought they were so cute. And then I, I got this Tim Holtz stencil while I was there. For the mermaid journal, I also picked up this. There are no mermaids in this set, but I really like this guy riding the fish. And I like this octopus with the, the scuba the dive helmet on. And some of the words. This one's just some gears. This one looks like ocean waves, sea of wonders, the sea is calling and I must go. So this will be great to use in both a steampunk journal, you see all the gears in the in the fish, 
So this would be great for a steampunk journal and my mermaid journal. And then I couldn't resist this, a Tim Holtz collection that I had never seen. It's called Lab Laboratoire. And I, I just think it's so cool. I could use that in a steampunk journal too, maybe. But I'm going to be doing a couple of science-themed books very soon. I have uh, custom orders that I'm working on right now, and then I'll get to the science books, which are one of them is a custom order, and the other one will go in my shop. So I can use these. But I didn't buy these just because I'm doing two science journals. I will use these for lots of things. They'll be great in collages, too. And I could not find these in stores anywhere. I kept seeing them on haul videos, but my stores don't have them. So I found them, a set of all, a set of all three Tim Holtz tissue papers on um, Amazon. So I love this one. They, I have to say they're a little bit narrower than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be a little wider, but I still love them. They are six yards long. doesn't say how well I can measure. Six inches wide. So you can get a lot of use out of six yards worth. And then I got a black and white one which I could paint or leave black and white. Botanical, very pretty. So both of those would be good in a botanical journal or any kind of journal. And then this one is also beautiful. It's got music and birds. Just beautiful. So I guess that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. And um, I'll be busy. My room is clean. I cleaned my room today. And so I can get to work on my next custom journals. I get excited when my room is clean and I can't wait to start working. And then it gets messed up again. So I'll be working on using up some of these supplies. Hopefully before I buy more. I decided I'm not going to buy any more new stuff for a while. I will still look for vintage items because that's season for that. And a lot of times I can package up and sell some of the vintage pieces that I buy. So I will still be looking, looking for them, but I'm going to try to stay away from new stuff unless it's glues and tape and stuff like that that I need. So that's it. I will see you again another day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.